The future of delivery is autonomous and already taking over one university in Hampton Roads. Do you like my, my robot version? Because yeah. that's exactly what we're talking about. <laughs> Lauren Martinez stopped at the ODU campus for an up-close look at its modern approach to bringing students a bite to eat. The story, new at five, Lauren. Well, I don't know, Aisha, I think I can do it a little oh, better. Yes. Than oh, yes. <laughs> Well, since returning to the classroom, ODU students have been getting acquainted with a group of six-wheeled friends, or shall I say robots. These gadgets are kind enough to deliver their food, but it comes at a cost, although students say it's affordable on a college budget. It's a $3 delivery fee. That's all it takes to get food delivered at your fingertips on the campus of ODU, plus the cost of your meal, of course. The university rolled out its partnership with Grubhub at the start of the school year, and so far, so good. They're adorable. Me and my friends just love watching them run around. I think they're very convenient, like especially if it's raining or snowing. I pressed the button on my phone and it opened it up, and my food was so warm, the drinks were so cold, and then it's like, okay, send it on its way, and it thanked me, and it said, have a good day. Old Dominion is one of three universities in the Commonwealth to implement the robot-run service on a college campus. ODU has a total of 11 Starship robots bringing food from six on-campus restaurants via the Grubhub app. So we're having it delivered to Web South. They have to choose a delivery location and then pick what they want. So if they want Chick-fil-A, if they want Starbucks, if they want Qdoba, Steak and Shake, they can choose that. A staff member loads it into the little robot, and then the robot goes on its way. Students unlock the robot with their smartphone once it arrives, grab their food, shuts its lid, and then it's off to its next delivery. What are the traffic laws for these robots? The same as if you're a pedestrian. So they have to wait till the walk sign is on and then they can cross. When they're crossing Hampton Boulevard, someone is actually controlling it. Okay, the rest of campus, it's automated. Yeah, it's geofenced, basically. The robots can hold up to four meals at a time, and wait times range from 15 to 20 minutes, depending upon a student's location. Deliveries run until midnight. Right now, they go all the way to 38th Street, um, past Melrose, and down to Killam, and then, of course, uh, to the Elizabeth River. They charge wirelessly outside, right behind our student center, and um, but the charge lasts for 18 hours, so once they're charged, they're good to go all day. Well, let me tell you, I am so jealous. I wish I had this when I was back in school. So if the robots have technical issues, though, ODU will have its engineering students who they hire to fix them. And the school hopes to add more delivery robots in the future with the possibility of offering delivery services from on-campus convenience stores. Lord Martinez, 10 on your side.